Soul Train Music Awards. Red Carpet is beginning, so stay tuned because we're going to have all the coverage for you. The 2015 Soul Train Awards was hosted by none other than the illest chick, the soulstress of soul herself, Erica Badu. With Miss Erica Badu hosting, the show is certainly full of surprises. Badu, I got to hang out with Erica Badu before the show, and we did a little fun skit for you guys, so you guys will get to see that tonight. Too. So, what's exciting you about tonight's award show? Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Babyface and Jill Scott. Uh, and the people that are going to pay tribute to him. So I know it's going to be a great night. I'm looking forward to the tribute to Babyface and of course to Jill Scott. It's going to be amazing. They are. What's up, Lady B? It's your girl, Philly from Philly. Two one fifth in the belt. Yes, we had to get her. We had to get the Jill Scott. Love you, girl. Lady B forever. Aww. This I know. <laughs> this I know. <laughs> from Old School 100.3 and here at Old School we don't really know everything about the whipping and nae nae so I can bring this back to Lady B show her how to whip a nae nae now watch me whip now watch me nae nae <laughs> now watch me whip, Go ahead. whip watch me nae nae Who's your favorite old school person? I like Marvin Gaye. Ariel and I go way back. Way back, like, like way back to Philly. To and Philly. Temple. And like last week, we like <laughs> seen each other. Yes. I'm so happy to see you here. What are you excited to see tonight? I'm excited to see Badu get yes. as host, and I'm loving to see Babyface get honored. It's a lot. I mean, Jill Scott. I mean, it's great. It's gonna be a great show. It's a great night. You look so pretty. You I'm so proud of you. Yes, thank you. What are you working on right now? You know, I'm so excited. Well, first of all, I'm a BET talent. Yeah. I'm the church announcer for Lift Every Voice every Sunday, 10 a.m. on BET. And then I've got Raising Whitley is coming out in the fall. Okay. And of course, I preach the gospel yes. every Sunday at Weller Street Missionary Baptist Church. Y'all can come on, get to work. Come see you. Get up come see you. Chrisette Michelle, you're looking lovely tonight. Yes. How are you? Thank you. What are you wearing tonight? Uh, BCBJ and Louboutin and a diamond ring. Oh. And let's see the ring, yes. Yeah. He did good, ladies. He did yes, he good. Did. <laughs> what do you love most about being in your love? In love? Um, you know, the music that comes from it, the celebration that comes from it. I'm always about themes and playing. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is another way for me to experience art and then share time with family. You know, just being engaged, I'm kind of excited about the whole idea of settling down with a man. For the first time, it's been 10 years. This is my 10th year anniversary in the industry. Wow. Uh, so it's been a while, but I'm kind of ready to uh, just be in love and sing about that this time and not the scary, sad love songs from before. What are you working on right now? I'm just finishing up my fifth album. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Coming out with a new single in a couple of days, it's called Steady, so I'm excited about that. And then I'm always on tour. I mean, I think everybody kind of knows I'm always on the road. You Made in America. You did leave Made in America, so you're familiar with Philadelphia. We had a, we had a booth at, at Made of America for our organization, Donda's House, named uh -huh. after Kanye's mom, where I teach creative writing to young, young people in Chicago. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So what's your creative writing? What top tips that you give to young writers? Uh, tell your truth. Don't don't try to be like somebody on the radio. Share your truth because your truth is more unique and it's the song we never heard. Absolutely. Now tonight you're um, nominated for the song Glory. Right? Yes. And how was it with that collaboration in the studio? Oh, we didn't go in the studio. Common just called me on the phone and said, look, I want to write something glorious. And we prayed to the ancestors and we asked for Fannie Lou Hamer, King, Mike Brown to all speak through us. Two hours later, the song was written. Two hours later? Mm -hmm. So is that a normal process for you? Uh, you know, I believe everything comes through a spirit. You know what I mean? So the normal process is when the spirit speaks through us, it trans we translate it to the people. We do it from the heart, not from the and mind. And we're here on the red carpet, and we're here with the lovely Miss Sasha Cobbs. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Yes, she looks fabulous tonight. Now, what are you wearing? This is a designer out of Atlanta. Uh -huh. um, her, her line is called T.S. Couture. Okay. And she is phenomenal. Y'all got to check her out. Okay. Obviously, she's phenomenal. This outfit is phenomenal, and you just put it together so nicely. Yes. Thank you. So what's going on with your music right now? We just released my new album in August. Okay. And so next week, actually, we start my tour with okay. my new album. So I'm excited, I'm nervous, yes. but I know it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah. We know it will be. And what do you look forward to seeing tonight? I'm looking forward to the tribute to Babyface and, of course, Jill Scott. It's going to be amazing. They are, listen, so they have some everybody on this show. Jasmine Sullivan, they have Fantasia, Brandy. 
So I'm yeah, like shaking, like, like, can we get to this now? Yeah, don't leave me too soon. No, 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 no. Yeah, so it's gonna be phenomenal. So can I ask you who your vocal your vocal crush is? Like your music crush my day? Oh my goodness. My it's a lot in the gospel industry, especially. It, it doesn't is. have to be from gospel though. Music crush Monday would probably be two. Okay. Um Marvin Winans, who's a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. And <laughs> Jasmine Sullivan. Her, Jasmine? her both of their voices okay. is just like butter, like, like on a it's so smooth, yeah. Type of the biscuit. So way. yeah, yeah, that would be a music crush yeah. Monday. Hi, it's Ariel Dante here. I'm here with Vivian Green, who is nominated tonight. Yeah. How do you feel about that? It's cool. Excited. It's been such a long time, so it's cool. I was, I was shocked. I was like, really? Sure. No, no, no. You're <laughs> well, shocked now. Well, it's been a long time, so yeah. you know, um, when you take a long hiatus and you come back, it's like starting over. So it's really cool to get really great reception for your music like I have gotten with this album and this new song, Get Right Back to My Baby. So I'm just excited to be here and be nominated. It's all yeah. good, all good, yeah. So what's going on different in your life? Because this album is so much different than the other albums. I know, I know, right? Um, you know, I'm just at a stage in my life where I can take lemons and make lemonade. I so I right. just choose to see the positive that you can grab out of any situation. I'm the mother of a special needs child. He's 11 years old, he's supposed to die after a week of being here, that's what wow. all the doctors told me. So I've been through a lot in my life and I, I've learned how to just take things and grab the best things out of them that make me better. And so my album, if you have it, it's it's empowering. I do talk about heartbreak, but it never the song is never over with you feeling like you want to slit your wrist or go cry yourself to sleep. It makes you want to kind of get up and get over it and move on because life is too short. You know, to wallow in tears over a man forever, it's just, it's, it's you know, it's very high school. <laughs> it's very high school. <laughs> Gotta move on. And, you know, we're very strong women. We are. We, we, we can raise a nation and we carry babies and go back to work. Like, we are amazing. And I just, I just want to make music that shows that and not make music that makes us, you know, shows us as weak creatures who get Absolutely. our heart broken. So that's what I want to be about now. And I'm grown now, you know. I was, I was like 20 when I wrote that first album. I'm grown. <laughs> I love it. Ariel Dante here with Big Tigger. What's Hi, up? Hi, how you doing? How you doing, bro? I'm awesome. Oh, I hit you in the chin. I'm That's sorry. okay. You violent. What's going on? <laughs> you stupid. What you working on this year? New show on Oxygen in January. Okay. Uh, like a Boss, January 19th, 2016. Me, Nick Cannon, Akon's brother, Boo. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there's another real estate, a local real estate agent from Atlanta. We have four, all of us have an assistant. Mm -hmm. They all want to be like a boss. Like a boss. So we're like mentoring them, mm -hmm. we're tutoring them, we're, wow. we, we helping them be boss-like. So boss. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it felt good to me to be, I've turned down three or four reality shows. Mm -hmm. This one was not ratchet. Uh, and it, exactly. and, and it actually helps me help someone else. So it was kind of dope. That's a beautiful no. thing. Now, Two young guys out there. What can a guy do to be like a boss? Be like a boss. Me on your job, two million percent. Mm -hmm. uh, opportunities will happen if you can't take advantage of them because you're not prepared. And on top of your hustle, then you just ruined your opportunity. So be on top of your craft uh, and and put deodorant on. You can't lift your arms and be like a boss when your armpits stink, right? No. <laughs> now good, do good. Big ticket, Ariel Dante. Here for the 2015 Soul Train Music Awards. We came, we saw, and we conquered. It was an amazing red carpet, and we're about to go into the show, so we'll keep you up to date with everything that went on.